Hi, I'm Jakub Jankton. Like everybody else, I have my strengths. I have my weaknesses. I have a job, which I've been doing it for years, with seriousness and passion. I also want to live my life in freedom, without fears, without prejudice, but with love. I'm homosexual and I no longer want to hide myself. February was a, like was a bomb. I was like surprised that I am like the first one who is telling uh, this story like a new thing. The football was and I think it's a little bit homophobic. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but uh, this is who I am. And I'm happy for myself. I don't want to need your change, you know. I'm really happy to myself. Jakob Jankto is a 27-year-old Czech footballer who was born and raised in Prague. Now playing in Italy's Serie A for Cagliari, he is the only openly gay man playing football in Europe's top five leagues. I wanted to announce because uh, I didn't want to hide. I couldn't do what I wanted to do uh, world life. Maybe when I wanted to, to date with, uh, with a guy, with a boy, you're hiding uh, the phone, you're hiding the messages, so that was the bad feel. Now I don't have to do this, uh, this thing, so now I feel really good. The video was really, really uh, the bomb, and actually it was the second one the most uh, viewed in all of the time in the Czech Republic. I received the millions of the messages in that day, it was incredible. Also good wars, really good support from the teams like Real Madrid, like Arsenal, Barcelona. When you receive the positive messages, obviously it, uh, it helps you. Yeah, it was something, something great. What's the atmosphere like in here? Is it, are these really noisy fans? You have the seats close, uh, close to the pitch, so more noisy, like more intensive. It's like 12th player of, um, for us. When you announce that, that, that you're gay, when you announce that you, you don't want to hide this anymore, did, were you worried that other people would take it badly? When I started um, to play, some people ask me what I'm expecting if I play away or at home at the stadium, if I expect the whistles. I just said, why, why is, the, is, the, is the question? There is no reason and it was all good and so happy for that, really, really happy for that. Jakob's decision to come out didn't just have an effect on the footballing world, but also, of course, on his personal life. He had a long-term girlfriend and has a son. Presumably it's hard not being, not being at home with your son. It's hard being distanced from him. That breakup must have been very hard. And I don't know if, you're, if your ex-girlfriend understood through that process, if that's difficult for her to deal with. How, how did you, I mean, how did you live through that? Uh, to be honest, you have to ask maybe her, or maybe she will, <laughs> she will explain uh, better than me. Obviously, uh, also, was tough time for, for her, uh, but I think we have explained everything. Uh, it's, a, it's not a easy, but uh, yeah. it's on a situation that you cannot go through. It depends on, uh, on us and everything what we do, we have to do for the, for the small ones. In, in, in all of this, you're a footballer. Your identity is about being a footballer. And the, the, one of the problems, I suppose, is that everybody says, no, his identity is that he's a footballer who came out as gay, but you're then, and, and there's a bit of me that thinks for you, it must be kind of uncomfortable that everybody wants you to be their icon, the leader of that, their campaign or of their community, and you'd rather just play football. Yeah, it's true that the people wants that I will become to the captain of the certain community. Uh, uh, I always say to them, look, uh, I respect everyone, all the community, all the people, but I just 
want to focus on myself, on my team, on Calgary. I don't want to speak uh, anymore with the, with the coach or with the directors, with the people about the sexuality. As concerned as football, as a work, okay, I have no problem and uh, I will make 100%. But, uh, but yeah, finish there. For Jakob, coming out was intended as an end rather than a beginning. He doesn't see himself as an icon. He is a footballer and a father. I think it benefits a lot of people and I help a lot of people. Uh, maybe in the football is something new. Uh, it's not like something, uh, something bad, it's, uh, it's a normal thing. I cannot manage uh, or can, uh, cannot decide for other people what they do. Uh, if they want to speak, uh, okay, I let them speak. Uh, I just wanted to give a message to, to everybody. I think it, well, really, uh, it went really, really good and um, yeah, we just carry on.